How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of knee pain for athletes. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So knee pain, you guys, for athletes. I was an athlete or I, I would still consider myself an athlete um, for how long was it? About... 17 years about 16 17 years i played competitive baseball um i was really really good you guys i was a pitcher i topped out 91 miles an hour i was also a catcher in third base so i had a really really good arm i trained hard i trained lots and i was definitely a, an athlete you guys and um knee pain does occur it wasn't happening to me but it was happening to definitely a lot of my friends so i know exactly what you guys are going through um, I now do powerlifting, so I think that's still a, a competitive sport, so I'd still consider myself an athlete. Um, knee pain, I've had a few times squatting. So th the best way to get rid of knee pain for athletes is we need to stop doing whatever is causing the pain. When there is pain, that is your body telling you that something is not right. Now for me, when I was squatting, I never had ever knee pain when I was squatting ever. It'd always be my hips. So what happened is I started experiencing knee pain a couple of workouts in a row and I, I quickly fixed it quickly. It was my form. I was, um, I was breaking at the knees instead of the hips, which is a beginner mistake, but I was making it. And yeah, I was getting some knee pain. So you need to fix or correct whatever is going wrong. There is something going wrong. The knee pain just doesn't happen. You are doing something that is causing the pain and you need to find out what it is and you need to lower whatever that is or try to stop it if you can. So um, for me, what I would do if I was powerlifting and that was still continuing, I'd take a week off and I wouldn't squat. And then I'd reassess. I would try to, to get stronger doing the exercise again, but I'd switch up my form. So it can be anything. You gotta find out what it is. The next thing is to, to stay in shape because if you have to go two, three months maybe, or two, three weeks or four weeks without using your knees, that's a lot, like you can't do anything basically. You can't do leg day, you can't run, you can't walk, you can't do anything. So what I recommend to do is to swim. Swimming is really, really good um, for athletes that do have knee pain because you still get an amazing workout and it doesn't really affect the knees at all. The next one is gonna be rice, rest, ice, compression, elevation. This one's super important. We need to rest it, obviously. Ice is good too. Ice gets rid of, uh, gets rid of swelling and pain. Compression, if you have a compression sleeve or a knee sleeve, that helps to, uh, to kind of snug it up, tighten it. That does help too for pain. And elevating it, elevating it just creates more blood flow to the area, makes it heal faster. So that's what I recommend you guys, really, really important. If you're getting knee pain for squatting, then I guarantee you you're breaking at the knees instead of breaking at the hips. Even if you're doing high bar, low bar, uh, doesn't matter, you should be breaking at the hips, not breaking at the knees. That Because when you break at the knees, you put all the pressure on the knees. We wanna put the pressure on our posterior chain, our hips, our legs, our hammies, um, our lower back. That's kind of where you wanna put um, the emphasis, not on your knees, you guys. So end of video, thank you so much for watching.